Rodney. He comes in the door and sets a big duffel bag down, lifts Miss Edna up like she weighs two pounds, and she's laughing and punching his shoulders and crying all at the same time. Then he lifts me up, says, Look, a little brother, Lonnie, all grown up. You almost a man now, aren't you? Little brother. Little brother Lonnie. My big brother Rodney. Imagine that. There's a roast beef and ribs and potato salad. There's rice and peas and cornbread and greens. There's sweet potatoes and macaroni and cheese and even some fried okra. There's three kinds of pies and two kinds of cake and we eat and we eat and we eat till the thought of eating another bite makes us feel like crying. All the while Rodney's telling us how he's come on home. Gonna get himself a job here. Says, ain't nothing for me upstate anymore. He has Miss Edna's dark skin and straight teeth. They even laugh the same. He's tall and his shoulders are wide like somebody who could get a pro football contract if they wanted to. I lift my own skinny shoulders, wishing they'd spread out like Rodney's do. Little brother, he called me. The kitchen is warm. Miss Edna can't stop grinning. Rodney's voice sounds like it should be always in this house. Little brother, he called me. Little brother Lonnie.